there, Mushroom Troopers here. It's Rey Santos Pandera and Uno Cindy. We were just walking around today, Sunday, and we were gathering some apples and some chestnuts. And we just thought of actually making some videos for you guys to tell you what's the mushroom world. I'm gonna ask you, Roy, to actually tell you the difference between fungi and mushroom. Okay, so actually, a lot of people get confused with this difference because they are not able to understand the distinction between a fungi and a mushroom. So let's compare it with, for example, apple trees and apples. So we could say that the fungi is like the apple tree and the mushroom is like the apple, as it's kind of a fruit of the fungi and it's the part where the spores are loca located. So it's the reproductive part of, of the fungi. And yeah, that's the main difference. I forgot to mention before, but we're mycologists. We have been in a few lessons that a teacher, Catalina Fernandez de Ana, has taught us about the different kinds of fungi that I'm gonna tell you about. So the three life strat strategies of the fungi is, first one is the mycorrhiza or symbion. The second one is the saprophyte. And the third one is the parasite. The first one is, as we can see here, these white lines, that is the body. That is what Roy said before. That is the whole body of the fungi. It will fructificate whenever it gets the energy and then the mushrooms will come out. So going back to the life strategies, this is now in the ground because we have put it here. It's this, it's shiitake, shiitake mushroom, and it is all inoculated in all these logs. Um, this is now on the ground. It is feeding, is it, is this saprophytic, is feeding on the, um, or the leaves or the logs. And what it will do is it will go and try and find a root. And whenever it finds a root of a tree, it will recover it and it will try to recover as much area as it can. And then it will start a symbiotic relation with the tree. What this means is the tree will get all the minerals, but it will increase the capacity to get them. Then all these minerals will go up it will do the photosynthesis and then it will have a lot more food sugars for them for the tree and it will grow faster it will also be more protected then uh the saprophytic it would be another species that what it does is it does not when it finds a root it does not unify with it it just stays on the ground and what it does it's basically what decomposes everything fungi are key to decomposure in nature. The third one is the parasite. These are fungi that maybe for some species, for some plants, they might be beneficial, but then for others, such as some insects, they're not. Um, I have done a work on the a kind of wasp that we have here in Spain. It's a big problem. It's come from China. It's called the Asiatic wasp. And what I tried to do with the fungi, the Cordyceps militaris, what I did was it could attack and it could feed of the kitten that it has on its body. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you another example of mycelium, which is, as Nuno said before, the trunk and the roots of the fungi. So let's take a closer look. You can see it's the same that we have done, but in small scale, and this is taken by, directly by the nature. So, as you can see on that mushroom over there, on the side of the log, that is, it's reproducing. You can see the spore is all coming out. That will be laid out on the ground, on other pieces of wood, and it will start creating the whole colony. It's been raining for the past few days, and as you can see, mushrooms have appeared everywhere. The actual growth of these is amazing. In a few hours, they can start from nothing to being absolutely enormous. I mean, by enormous, I mean a tiny bit bigger than this. So um, this is shiitake mushroom. This is what we inoculated our log with. 
This is basically what we want to achieve. Okay, so as you've seen, when you pick up all the mushrooms, all of this is where they were. And then you take them out, you pick them up, and you can see, if you come a bit closer, you can see all the mycelium that is still there. This is, as we said before, the body. If we took all this crust away, it will, we will see all of this on the inside. So then you pick them up, it rains, in a few hours you will get more of these. Okay, so subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our videos. Because in the next video we're going to talk to you about the lichen. Its characteristics, why it appears, what does it mean? See ya!